upgrade, you can continue listening with non HD Google Doodle voices. honors German composer, who was Johannes Brahms. Johannes Brahms was born 190 years ago and Google is dedicating a special doodle to him on his birthday on May 7th. After all, he was one of the most important composers of the 19th century. From a German requiem to Hungarian dances, his ambitious compositions made Johannes Brahms a leading figure on the international music scene. He was known not only as a composer, but also as a pianist and conductor. Some even described him as the legitimate successor of Ludwig van Beethoven. Brahms was born on May 7, 1833 in Hamburg. On the occasion of his birthday, Google is honoring the influential German composer with a special doodle that shows his musical roles in three short animations. Composer, conductor, pianist, that was Johannes Brahms. First, Brahms is seen as a young man and composer working on a new work. Already in his youth Brahms played music in numerous dance halls and inns in Hamburg and composed his first piece before he was discovered in 1853 by the famous composer Robert Schumann. In the second animation, Brahms appears as a conductor on the big stage. In 1860 he became the conductor of a women's choir in Hamburg for the first time. Later he led a choral society in Vienna and developed other compositions such as the string sextet in B-flat major. His popular works eventually earned him a job as a conductor at the Gesellschaft der Musik Freunde. Finally, the doodle shows an older Brahms as a pianist. However, after his successes with the Ein Deutsches Requiem, a German requiem, published in 1868 his most famous choral work in the Hungarian dances, which debuted in 1869, Brahms increasingly concentrated on his compositions. He died in Vienna in 1897 at the age of 63. But his work still has an impact on modern musicians. Again and again, the search engine Google uses the logo on the homepage, called Doodle, to draw its users' attention to commemorations, anniversaries, special people, or events. Strangely enough, the doodle on May 7, 2023, of all things, has no sound. In previous animations by musicians, Google had deposited musical samples.